to Bell, and he sweeps right in and turns it upfield. Good blocking. See so it, David DeCastro leading and, and uh, pounce right behind him. Marquise, take me through the team's mindset before the Kansas City game and what it is after that win. Well, it was a tough loss the week before. Uh, we didn't play like we wanted to. Obviously, we had so many turnovers, couldn't help us win a game at all. But uh, I think the team was really locked in. Coach Tomlin did a great job of locking guys in, making sure we was on our details, because that was the whole thing the week before. Small details turning into big time plays for the teams. and. Uh, that's exactly what happened. But we wanted to get back to what we're used to doing, calling the plays that we like, man. And uh, it obviously, it turned out really, really well for us. Everybody, I think, played overall a good job. There's a lot of things you need to fix, but it was a good game. Was it just as simple of having a good week of practice, fixing some of those simple mistakes, like you said, and having the right mindset, heading into a very tough venue and an undefeated team? No, I think so, man. But I think this team, as you, the longer you play, you understand how the NFL is. There's so many ups and downs. You never can predict it, man. Everybody in this league is good, man. Um, I wish we could say, man, we don't have to practice as hard for this team. We go out there and win, but it doesn't work like that, man. And, uh, there's so many adversity in the season, but good teams, man, the ones who push through and keep focused and keep going out there working hard always turn out good at the end of the year. The offensive line, you're coached by a Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah. You guys, high draft picks. A lot of money has gone into keeping everyone here. I know you guys have very high standards for yourself. Are you guys living up to them? Where do you think you are right now after six games? I think we're doing an okay job. I think there's a lot of things that we could do a lot better, but uh, you know, you never can do anything. You know, and every time, I always tell people all the time, when people play the Steelers, they're always going to give you their best. And uh, rightfully so, man, it's a great organization, but it puts a lot of, you know, on our plate. And rightfully so, we should all be able to handle it. But uh, I love how Coach Munch does it. He keeps us locked in, makes sure we're doing all our technique things and, you know, making sure that we're being the accountable guys on the team and making sure we're holding the team very, very accountable. But I like how the start of the season goes. We'll see how it finishes. We unfortunately haven't seen the five starters on the field too much at the same time. Um, how do you deal with injury, especially when they just kind of seem to be happening at different positions and guys are in and out? Yeah, well, you can't really predict that. I think Coach Munch does a good job of like rotating the guys at practice and make sure they're getting really good key reps. And uh, as this league, man, you play a while, man, everybody's going to get hurt. It is what it is. But, you know, you got to have guys that are behind you that are willing to get in there and do just as good and not better. And uh, I think the guys did. I think DJ did a heck of a job, and I think Hub did a heck of a job, man. He, as rightfully so, has been doing it for the last couple of years, and it's awesome. What do you feel like your role is of the offensive line? So <laughs> added pressure because you're the center, you're maybe the unspoken leader. No, I, I honestly, I just like coming to work every day. You know, being in a positive attitude, making sure I'm working really, really hard, and uh, setting an example by my work. And you know, I think guys pull onto that, man. And uh, it's really a exciting thing whenever you got a group that's you know so close and they spend a lot of time together, and you go out there and play well. It kind of shows the reason why. Quarterback Ben Roethlisberger has called you his comfort blanket. The only other teammate he's referred to as that was Heath Miller. Oh, nice. So what, what does a comfort blanket mean? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> in the same category as Heath, man, that's special, man. But uh, Ben's a really close friend of mine. You know, we spend a lot of time together. Obviously, the quarterback and center relationship is really, really close. And uh, he's just done a great job over my whole entire career, keeping me right, keeping me focused, and making sure I'm a leader and accountable to my guys. And uh, I couldn't ask for a better quarterback, and man, you know, the compliments he always gives me is awesome. Has that developed over time, Yo, that man, relationship? I, honestly, with me, I think, I don't know what it was, but just <laughs> for, when I first got here, Ben, you know, me and him kind of clicked really, really well, man. We hung out a lot. We did, you know, a couple things by ourselves all the time, and uh, it's just a great relationship, man, and especially from two different backgrounds and, you know, how people are involved and how people finally meet each other and be able to get really, really close is, man, really unique, and especially with me and Ben. Did you feel like you had to come to his defense after the Jacksonville game when he didn't have a good day at the office and he was maybe frustrated after, made some comments he didn't want to, and you knew that he would rebound? Oh, absolutely. It's funny to me because you know how the media is. They run with anything. If you watch the, the thing with Ben, the interview, he kind of laughed like, oh, maybe I don't have it anymore. And now, you know, the headline, Ben, ben never has it. Like, come on, he's, all, he's the first ballot Hall of Famer. Like, I mean, everybody has bad games. You think, well, I'm, I'm going to question Big Ben if he can come back and bounce back and have a great game. That would be crazy. <laughs> When you guys get the run game going, Antonio Brown also had a big game. How exciting is that to finally see maybe not where you guys want to be? I know you said there's still some things you can clean up from Kansas City, but maybe developing this offense, not the 30 points everybody wants to see, but able to have playmakers make plays and get the W. It was great. Le'Veon did a good job of you know hitting the hole, making sure he was getting in there, not you know juking around the backfield. He was hitting it really, really well. And obviously, AB is the best in the league, man. And, um, you know, I think that, you know, we didn't play as well when I said that, I think just because we got into the red zone and getting get seven points, we're getting three. And when you play great teams like that, they get a lot of turnovers and, I mean, the only undefeated team at the time. And um, it, it shows you got to put up, put up points and be able to score down there when there's key situations.
do you allow yourselves to get a little extra excited because you knocked off the only undefeated team or do you have to just treat this as a win and maybe just an AFC win? Honestly, I just take it one day at a time and it was a great win. Honestly, we're right back to work today and then we're right on to the next week and uh, that's kind of how I like doing it. I don't like thinking too far ahead or thinking too far in the past and you know, just living day by day. Speaking of AB, I know I talked to you after the game, you weren't surprised by his crazy touchdown, but the photo that was circulating afterwards <laughs> of the Steelers sideline, who had the best face in that? Probably Ramon. I mean, both hands in the air, <laughs> squatting down, yelling. It was it was awesome, man. And uh, I, it was the funny thing Todd showed me whenever I was getting off the bus, getting on the plane, and we just sat there dying laughing. And that's the type of excitement whenever you have playmakers like that, and that's what makes football special. Whenever you see guys so into the game and they're excited for their teammates to do well. What was your face like? Oh, I, I grabbed it. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's crazy, unbelievable, man. Like that's why that's why he's on this team. That's why. He's the best in the league, and that's why he works so hard. I know the team, after a win, the big thing is let's stack wins. Let's get another win. Is it good or bad that you are facing a division opponent coming up this <laughs> week at Heinz Field? The division rivals, are never, they're never easy games. But, uh, you know, that team, they're going to come in ready to play like they always do. You know, it's everyone pumps it up, and rightfully so, because the division arriving is great for the, the league, and it's great for our, you know, our division. And uh, when them type of games come, you got to just embrace them and run with them. What is your attitude towards the Bengals? Just a team, it's like the Ravens, you know them so well, you play them so often, and they seem to play their best against you guys. Oh uh, yeah, they play really well. I like them a lot, man. I got some friends over there, obviously Carlos, we went to school together, and uh, they're just a good front, man. They play really, really hard together. They play as a team, and uh, you know, if we go out there and do the right things and you know, run the ball well and play good on defense, I think everything will work out.